Hey, Local 5, it's Dave. Hey, just a quick message uh, upcoming for the remainder of this campaign. We've got 11 days and a wake up before this thing is wrapped up. Um, and with that, I just wanted to let you and ask you to know that our, uh, our signups for this weekend look a little light. So I'm really hoping that it's just a simple fact that you haven't made the commitment to do the signups, but are still planning to come out because it's critically important right now as uh, we feel confident cautiously optimistic, I should say, um, that we're in a really good spot right now. And our opposition also knows that it looks to, uh, to at this point, at least to be leaning uh, in our favor. But that's where we're at right now. It's in a lean. And to that, their messaging is definitely going to continue to ramp up. They definitely have the resources to come out and really uh, create the opposition that they're trying to make an impact with, as they've seen, we've all seen probably a couple of the mailers that have come out they're probably going to ramp up their TV advertising as well in opposition to this. Um, and with the fact that the city clerk at this point is reporting just a little less than 20,000 ballots that have been submitted and in a mayoral race within the city of Colorado Springs, even though there's over 200,000 ballots to go out, approximately 80 to 90,000 ballots are the average of what gets turned back in. So with only 20,000 ballots in right now, you can see that there's still an extensive amount of uh, ballots that are still outstanding. And with that, We've got a tremendous impact, ability to make impact on those remaining potential ballots as they're submitted. So twofold in our efforts going forward for the next two weekends. One, to make sure that we're out in front of the opposition messaging. They're not going to quit. It's just going to get uglier. And if we let this weekend pass and they ramp up an incredibly um, a more impactful negative campaign, we'll have let something slip by us that, uh, that we, ca we can't ever make up. Um, so as they're looking at probably playing their game out as hard as they can all the way to the end, we need to make sure that we have the one avenue and resource that we can control, which is making that one-on-one -on -one contact with the people that we want them to support us. And so we need to encourage them not only to, to, uh, to give them a positive message to offset that negative campaign message that's coming from our opposition, but we also just simply need to encourage them that they need to simply get uh, their ballots filled out, obviously vote yes on one and get those back into the mail because um, those need to be no later than Monday morning, Monday of next week to be in the mail to make sure that they're going to be back to the city clerk's office in time for those to be counted. The following weekend will be the final get out the vote effort and we'll be definitely providing like the local uh, drop off location ballot boxes for them to be able to drop off those uh, those um, those ballots too so we make sure that every ballot, every ballot that's uh, supportive of us, and when that's what we're doing with the messaging as we get out, um, really needs to be uh, in our favor. So again, only 20,000 ballots returned so far. On average, it's about 80 to 90,000 that come in for a mayoral election. There's potentially still 60,000 ballots out there that have yet to be returned. So you can see that we still have potential for um, making an impact to the positive on this thing. Um, or being regretful in the fact that we didn't do everything that was within our power to be able to do. And the thing that we have to do is simply to get together and make that final push. So I'm asking you, come out and join us tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. And the following weekend, we definitely need to get out, uh, do a big get out the vote push. So don't let up on me now. It's been a tremendous amount of work. Um, our play is in uh, the right position. We've got a new television ad that's come out. We've got a couple more mailers that are coming out. But the real impact, and it's been demonstrated time and time again, is the one thing that we have that they don't have is that one-on-one -on -one interaction, that personal interaction with people to truly look them in the, in the eye and tell them how important it is for them to understand how important it is for them to support us on issue one so we make sure that we're capable of providing the citizens with the services that they, that they need and it keeps them and us safe. So again, I'm asking you. Please make the commitment. I get it. We're at the last push. Everybody's worn out. Everybody's done a tremendous effort. We've done some incredible things. We've gone um, beyond the point of what the expectations were. Um, but if it doesn't carry through to the end, all of the time, energy, and effort, and money that we've made a commitment to on this campaign literally right now could be lost. Because again, the opposition is not going to rest. The ugliness that's going to come out is not going to cease. They're going to continue to ramp up their side. They realize that there's a large number of potential votes that still have to come in and they're going to make every effort that they can. So let's please take uh, charge of what is in our control.
take this last 11 days that we have and do everything possible that it is within our, our within our scope, within our potential for us to do to make this election fall out to uh, our side and be favorable for us. Um, that really didn't make any sense at all. But we definitely want to be hanging out at April 2nd down at the Thirsty Parrot for the watch party and knowing that we absolutely did everything that we possibly could. So when the outcome of this thing is a positive, we can be confident in knowing that uh, we carried this thing all the way through to the finish line. We don't want to be standing there wishing that we could have done something else to make an impact. This is the opportunity to truly push this thing all the way to the finish line. So I'm asking you, Please take the, the consideration of setting aside a little bit of your personal time, coming out, making a couple hour commitment over the next couple weekends. We're definitely going to have some canvassing during the week next week as well. We've got some partners from the state coming down this weekend. We've got some labor organizations that are going to come out and help us on the last weekend for the get out the vote because they realize and understand the effectiveness of what a campaign or canvassing uh, portion of a campaign means to uh, make sure that we get that vote out and that it's positive for us because they realize that this in fact could make the difference between uh, success or failure. So let's not uh, do the latter, let's do the former. I appreciate your time, thank you so much. Come out and join with me to reach out to citizens and let them know how much we appreciate them and how much we really need their support. Thanks for your time.